This is how to draw the sacrum and the coccyx from the posterior view. Here you can see the SI joint or the sacral part of the SI joint. It is involved in SI joint dysfunction and pain. Then you can see the sacral foramina. There are several of them. They are the posterior part of the foramina. And you can also see the superior articular process that articulate with L5 vertebra. Here you can see the medial sacral crest, the median sacral crest, and the lateral sacral crest. We also have the sacrococcygeal joint, the sacral canal, the sacral hiatus and the sacral tuberosity or the ala of the sacrum. Here you can see from the back that the sacrum is a large triangular shaped bone at the base of the spine. The sacrum is broad and thick proximally, it is thin and small distally. Here is anterior drawing of the sacrum. The important structures are the sacral ala, which is the lateral part of the proximal sacrum, and the anterior foramina. This is a superior view of the sacrum, which looks like an inlet view in an x-ray. Here you can see the sacroiliac joint, the sacral ala, the body, the sacral canal, the superior articular facets of the sacrum, and the median sacral crest. The coccyx is a triangular bone that lies at the lower end of the sacrum. It's also called the tail bone. The coccyx is composed of two to four separate or fused vertebrae. It provides important attachments to the tendons, ligaments, and muscles. The coccyx is a shock absorber and excessive movement is abnormal. Coccyx pain is called coccydenia. 